You have got to stop procrastinating. It is now more than halfway through the year and if you have not accomplished your goals and if you're not being disciplined and consistent, we have a problem. Because if you are not locking in like you said you were going to lock in, then we have a really big issue and it's time for you to change your life. You need to end the year strong and start the new year stronger. And to do that, you need to get out of your lazy girl era and you need to become more disciplined. So in this video, I'm going to become your accountability partner and I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. I'm going to give you three life-changing mindset tips. If you have some lazy girl habits, these are going to cure you. Hello, my name is Raina and I create content on how to level up and to become your best self. I also create videos on my own experience glowing up in my own life. So if you enjoy that, check out my vlogs. So what are the three mindset shifts that you have to take if you wanna become more disciplined? If you wanna stop being lazy, you really have to transform the way that you think of discipline. Discipline is not a punishment. Discipline is self-care. A lot of people see discipline as super restrictive and that you can't do all the things that you normally would choose to do. But this is not true. It's more so like time blocking and prioritizing your life. It is a form of self-care and building trust with yourself because you are being committed to your goals and you are following through. Think of it like building a relationship of trust with a partner. In this instance, you would be your own partner. And the more that you follow through with the things that you say you're going to do, the more you trust yourself. The more that you break your own trust and you say you're going to do things and you don't do it, you are breaking trust with yourself. Similar to breaking the trust of your partner. So it's so important to stick to what you say you're going to do. The first mindset shift that you have to make is looking at discipline as a form of self-care and self-love. You are building a positive relationship with yourself and you're building that trust with yourself. There are people out there literally living your dream life. Are you gonna let other people take your dream life? There are so many people with great ideas and great talents and just have a whole bunch of dreams in their heads that would be successful, but it's not successful because they take absolutely no action. Why are you letting opportunities pass you by when there is somebody else getting them when you are the one that deserves these opportunities? You guys see how fast this year went? Life is literally just speeding by. We need to stay focused and we need to stay disciplined. And this is the best way to get ahead of everyone because not everyone is thinking in this mindset. Not everybody is thinking that their opportunities are getting snatched by other people. Another mindset shift you have to make is let go of perfection. If I let perfection rule my life, I literally wouldn't have done any of the things that I've already done, like bought my own rental property or start my own business. I wouldn't have done any of that because I would feel like I'm not ready because I wasn't ready at the time. I was just going for it. Making progress and being consistent is so much more important than being perfect. You build your skill and your talent throughout time. You don't build it with no progress. Progress. If you're sitting at home and you're making no strides, how are you going to build your skill? Give yourself grace when things don't pan out the way that you want. Okay, you failed. So you learned your lesson, you get up and you move forward. Life isn't over when you fail. Life isn't over when things don't work out. You just get up and you take that rejection as a redirection. But staying consistent towards your goal, staying disciplined on what your big picture goal is, is so important because even when you fail, you know, okay, maybe that wasn't the best route to get to my goal, but I'm going to take another one to achieve it. Resilience is literally number one. Now that we've talked about the big mindset shifts that you have to make, one of the most important thing and the most important thing of this video is to clarify why you have your goals. Because one of the reasons why a lot of people are lazy is because they don't know what their big picture goal is. They don't know what they want exactly. So you need to get crystal clear on what you want to become disciplined for. Do you want to become disciplined and consistent for a workout routine? Do you want to make more money at your job? Do you want to switch your job and enter a new field and become disciplined with trying to network and to find opportunities for this job? Be crystal clear on what exactly your big picture goal is because if you're not, you're aimlessly working towards nothing. Your goals should lie closely with your core values and morals. What is most important for you to accomplish this year? Year. I want you to look back on some of your biggest yearly resolutions and figure out what goal was most important to you and why. This needs to be a goal that you didn't accomplish. And I want you to be honest with yourself with why you didn't accomplish it. Is it truly a goal that is very close to your core value? Does it have meaning? Does your goal benefit you in some way? You need to be writing down not only your goals, but beside it, 
why do you want that goal? Why is this goal important to you? What does it give to you? What does it feed you? Does it feed your soul and how? Because if this is just a goal that makes no sense, like you just want to make $10,000 just because you want to, why? There needs to be a reason. I want you to write down things like, I want to make $10,000 and I want to set aside $5,000 for a rental property. I want to set aside $3,000 for my savings account. And then I want to set aside $2,000 for an emergency fund. These are the ways that you are able to manifest and to become disciplined because you have a clear picture on what you're doing and why. You need to start visualizing the outcome of this. You need to get a Pinterest board or make a vision board on what your life is going to be like when you achieve what you're being disciplined for. You want to work out? You want a banging body? Girl, I want that too. I literally went on Pinterest and just saved a whole bunch of girls pictures that I like their physique, I like their abs, and this is what will help Help to remind you of what you want visually. I definitely need to see things visually. I'm definitely a visual person. So I love to look at this Pinterest board to be like, okay, girl, maybe I shouldn't eat as much junk as I wanted to today. <laughs> because you need to remind yourself of what your reward is going to be as long as you stay on track. Ask yourself really tough questions and be honest with yourself on what you need to sacrifice to get this goal. You cannot have things in excess, especially just things that are very toxic to you. You're going to have to let some things go to become your most disciplined self. You're not going to be able to scroll on your phone for five hours. You're not going to be able to text your boyfriend for three hours straight. You need to get a life, not to be mean, but you guys know what I mean. You need to get a life and you need to be serious about dedicating yourself towards your goal. It doesn't mean removing these things from your life, but it means limiting them because you have a big picture goal and you do not have time for distraction. Are you willing to do the things that you need to do to get this goal? You need to be honest with yourself and revisit this question and hold yourself accountable to this. Now that you know exactly what you want and why, we are going to talk about how to create routines and systems to get your dream life. The first thing you want to do is pick up an activity right in the morning that energizes you. I want you to make sure you don't check your phone as soon as you wake up and you immediately start your skincare and your face routine. After this, it's really good to follow up with exercising or working out. This is what really gets me disciplined and consistent throughout the day is when I always start the day with working out. After that, you need to go to your to-do list for the day. Now, I like to write my to-do list the night before every single day because it helps me keep on track, but sometimes things come up and your to-do list needs a bit of changing. Never put more than five items on your to-do list. There are a lot of things on our to-do list that can actually wait the next day. They're not super urgent, but you wanna make sure what is super urgent on your to-do list. What's a good daily task to have for your apartment, for the house, and then what's something that you can do for your big picture goal. When you take 20 minutes every Every single day to work towards a really big picture goal a big yearly or monthly goal this is what helps you achieve it because it's not the really big steps we take it's the small steps we take every single day and every single week that work towards that big goal and it's all in your morning evening and night routine so make sure that you're eating a healthy breakfast and exercising in the morning and then you want to have a good evening routine whether you want to work out in the evening instead you want to do some house chores in the evening cleaning up or doing meditation and then also do a night routine so you want to have a routine for the morning evening and night at the end of every day you need to get your planner where you wrote your to-do list and you want to check off as many as possible you want to make sure you try your hardest to check off all five tasks and that's completely fine if you didn't do all five just move the tasks that you didn't achieve for today to tomorrow i also want you to write down why you didn't achieve the task was it because you were lazy or was it because you didn't have any time because those are two completely different reasons time blocking is very important as well making sure you have time scheduled for when you're going to complete a task so you could say you're going to be cleaning every day for 30 minutes or you're going to be exercising every day for 30 minutes when you have a time block it's been scientifically proven that you stay more dedicated to completing that task when you have a timer set to it every Sunday make sure you are planning your entire week make sure you have weekly goals and make sure you have monthly goals are your weekly goals tying into your monthly goals are your monthly goals tying into your yearly goals small steps really add up and they will bring you towards your ultimate dream life obviously we will not always have super high energy to tackle our goals 
goals a lot of us just get a whole bunch of energy at like one or two in the morning and we just feel this rush of motivation but how do you stay motivated even when your energy is low let's say you're on your cycle you feel more tired when you're just in a bad depressive moment or you went through a breakup so your energy is just lower than normal I have a section for low energy to do tasks medium energy and high energy to do tasks you need to figure out your big picture goal and what you can do even if your energy is not super high so like let's say your big picture goal is to lose 20 pounds this year if that is your goal obviously a super high energy to do task would be doing a whole bunch of cardio being calorie restrictive and being super strict and harsh on your workout routine or your diet but let's say that you just have a low energy energy day and you really don't feel like pushing and putting your all into it have some workout routines that are more low energy do some more light yoga do light stretches just go on a walk instead of going on a run on a treadmill you want to make sure that even though you have low energy you're not just doing nothing you are still taking out days of the week where you do a little bit of something. We're not all feeling 100% all of the time, so it's important to listen to your body. If you don't feel like hustling today, that's okay. There's another day where you're gonna have even higher energy, but this is also why it's important to eat well, to make sure you're not aimlessly scrolling online, and to make sure you're listening to super motivational and inspiring podcasts and YouTube videos. These are the types of things that make your energy high, but like I said, there are some life events that will make your energy low, and that's okay. Not every day needs to be spent being on super power hungry hustle mode. You need to take time for yourself because that's more important than discipline. You can also identify what times of the day where you have higher energy and lower energy I'm a morning person so I put a lot of my high energy to do tasks right in the morning right after my workouts my low energy to do tasks like sweeping or using my Swiffer mop which is super easy is more so in the evening or at night so identify if you're a morning person an evening person or a night person and make your to-do list balance that group similar tasks with each other this is a great way to get your to-do list done if you are lower energy Dedicate certain hours to some creative work, responding to emails, some very low energy tasks. Girl, you could even use chat GPT to help you respond to emails or text messages for work. You can also use this technique where you work hard for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break to revitalize yourself and your body. This is a great way to prevent burnout. Find some people that are very like-minded with your goals. I swear there are so many goals that I have that I feel like if I didn't have the friends that I had, I would not stay committed to these goals. They are such a big reason as to why I am very motivated and disciplined for it. When you have women around you that are doing similar things or who are doing things to inspire you, it really keeps you motivated for your goals. When I bought my real estate property, I went to a lot of real estate events. When I started doing influencing, I found more influencing friends that really helped to keep me motivated. It is so important to find like-minded women. You can find this through Facebook groups or even meetup groups and events. Also tell your close friends and family what your goals are. Let them motivate you. Let them send you words of encouragement. Share with them milestones that you make with your goals. Always remember to celebrate yourself because this is really gonna help to motivate you. It is also super important to practice self-compassion. Just because you have slip ups, just because you're not super dedicated all the time, doesn't mean you're doing a bad job. Things happen, life happens. There are so many things we can't control, but you just have to remember that you are still on the right track. You still have the right mindset. You have to remember to write down the things that you accomplish every week because this will make you feel so happy for yourself and you will be excited for your own progress. Remember to reward yourself with things that make you happy. Buy yourself a nice treat, buy yourself a nice dessert, pat yourself on the back for achieving something even if it's really small. So I want you right now to go in the comments and write down what is one of your big picture goals that you have right now. What are the things you're going to do to stay disciplined and to stay consistent with wanting to achieve this goal. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!